Look, I don't pretend to be in charge of the foreign policy of the US. I have enough of the foreign policy of the European Union. But let's be logical. How many times have you heard the most prominent leaders and foreign ministers around the world saying too many people are being killed? President Biden said this is too much on the top. It's not proportional. Well, if you believe that too many people are being killed, maybe you should provide less arms in order to prevent so many people being killed. Is not logical? And in 2006, in the war against Lebanon, the U.S. already took this decision. They already took the decision to oppose the supply of arms to Israel because Israel didn't want to stop the war. Exactly the same thing that happens today. Everybody goes to Tel Aviv begging, please, don't do that. Protect civilians, don't kill so many. How many is too many? Which is the standard? But Netanyahu doesn't listen to anyone. They are going to evacuate. Where? To the moon? Where are they going to evacuate these people? So if the international community believes that this is a slaughter, that too many people are being killed, maybe they have to think about the provision of arms. And by the way, today a court in the Netherlands has said, has ordered it to the government to stop exporting the spare parts of the F-35 fighters to Israel in order to be sure that the International Court of Justice rule is being implemented. So, I, I don't know, every member state is a owner of its foreign policy, but this is a little bit contradictory to continue saying that, that there are too many people being killed, too many people being killed, please take care of people, please don't kill so many. Stop saying please and doing something.